Welcome back, episode 8. I might actually hit 10 after all, but we'll find out. I'm covering two options today, and that is polls and betting. There's another one of my Let's Explore segments where I don't use these, but explore them anyhow. I might actually start using my poll, the poll option, fairly sh mm, yeah, soon, because it looks like it's fairly easy to do. Anyhow, let's review episode one, mod tools. Episode two, it's modules. Episode three, commands, and we also spent number four on commands. Episode five was timers. 6 was quotes, episode 7 was a 3 piece episode because things went fairly fast. Q, loyalty and the merch store on Cloudbot. Streamlabs I might say. Now Streamlabs does also have a web interface. I have not brought that up today. That will be in a later, a later um, episode. Sorry, people. Had a little brain blank then. Today, I'm starting off on polls. As you can see, I've made a dummy poll here. Basically, it's not that hard to do a few. If you're having trouble making your mind up as a streamer and deciding whether you, I don't know, you're playing a game and you've got a fork in the road, right or left, um, you can do this and the option right. And the command can be R. Option left. And the command can be L. Or, I believe you can go and do a capital. Just so that it doesn't get mistaken. Then you hit advanced, and you can use a timer, so after a certain amount of time, or, yeah, use timer, I'm guessing after a certain amount of time, after it started, it'll stop, and whatever's the highest at that point will be the winner. And the timer's got duration in seconds. If I'm, a, if I'm a streamer, I don't want to wait five minutes to know whether I go right or left. So, what's that? 120 is two minutes. Give people time. And send, send chat notification. Hell yeah. I want people to know that I've seen it. And then, to start poll, you just click start. And it will, it will show you how many votes and what percent or whatever. So I could sit here and watch this go through the whole 120 seconds, 2 minutes. But I'm not, I'm gonna hit can, cancel clothes and rubbish bin but yeah that's a nice little option probably more pro twitch has probably got the more interactive poll polling audience anyhow 
the settings for your polls is you've got a repeat message and how many chat lines in between the message so that is you can turn that on and off open message um, Close message, you can't vote on the poll anymore. Cancel message, it has been cancelled. Win message option was the most voted with the amount in percent of the votes. So, that just says who done it. And if it's a tie, the, po the poll has resulted in a tie between results. So, I'm guessing... At that point, I can either reopen the poll, or I can be the deciding vote. But no, that's that's polls for you. On to betting. I personally don't use betting. A betting profile because I don't have that on my stream. Repeat message, same as last time. Your op open message, betting is open for whatever. Um, use the command and options with min to max to register your bet. Close, uh, cancelled, everyone was refunded. Win message was. Um, whatever has the highest percentage of beats. Basically, I think, yeah, it looks like it's the same, same kind of thing. Loyalty, minimum, maximum, re reward multiplier, um, and send a chat notification. Okay. More or less the same thing. This is a short one. I haven't got more too much more to go and I think I will be doing the rest in one episode then my 10th episode will be jumping out to the Streamlabs online side of life when you've signed in and showing you what you've got on that side. Anyhow, whether you hang round or not, enjoy playing round. Enjoy Streamlabs, enjoy CloudPop. I know some streamers want to know this information, and other streamers already know it or could care less about it. So, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. It works for you keep doing it. If it doesn't work for you anymore, find out how you can change it. I'll catch you in episode number 9 when we go over giveaways, user management, the importer, and I don't even know what the name is because I haven't paid for Streamlabs Prime. But we'll go over that anyhow. See you then.